Since you're focusing on many different things at once, it can increase multitasking. So what this does, it really gets your mind working. And many people say a video game fries your brain. Now that may be partly true because of the light emitted from the video game, but it also, the stories and the plots, they make you think. And while you're thinking that, you also have fun, and you see the creativity in them. When you play a video game, you get to see how other people have accessed creativity in them. And it inspires you to become more creative. Me, personally, when I play video games, when I grow up, I want to become a video game designer. And that's partly because I love video games and I want other people to know about them. And also because I feel like other people should know that video games aren't just a thing that fries your brain. Mm -hmm. Now, there are these benefits, but there are some issues. So when you play a video game, you're usually hunched over if you don't, you're not a perfect person, and <laughs> you get pain in your neck and your shoulders, and that can really affect you, because when I do play a video game for too long, or I think I've played it for like three or more hours at a time, your back starts to hurt and your shoulders are really tense and you just don't feel good. Now, an easy solution to this is that, it may sound simple, but you sit up straight. <laughs> you get good posture. And this is how you break really all habits. You just keep telling yourself, sit up straight, sit up straight. And probably many of you right now are having bad posture. So, <laughs> Just, if you do that, you can really access the fun in video games. When I play a video game, also, <laughs> I, get, I put some strain on my eyes. Because when you're looking at something too close for too long, and not looking at something far away or exercising your eyes, you really get run down in your eyes. Sometimes seeing something far away gets a little blurry. And, of course, another solution to this is that you only play for so long. So 30 minutes at a time with a 5 to 15 minute break, or just playing a video game and once in a while you just look up and focus on something far away. So this really exercises your eyes. And then if you do that, the problems go away. <laughs> now, I play fairly violent video games. And there have been some studies that may have shown that violence, it induces violence in kids and it may decrease social behaviors and increase unsocial behaviors. Now, when I play a video game, I release my stress and my violence into it. So, and also you don't see me rampaging down the halls. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's, you see that I think I benefit from that because you release it. And the unsocial part with me and many people is not true. Because you play with a certain group of friends when you play a video game, usually you don't play alone. There's multiplayer games where you play with other people. And when you play with a certain group of friends, it can link you from whole different places in the world. I have friends in LA and England that I play with on the weekends and sometimes on a, even on the weekdays and I connect with them through a video game. So these benefits and solutions, you can see that in order to 
access these awesome benefits, you have to solve these problems, but they're very simple problems that you can solve very easily. And when you find out how to solve those problems, you can access the fun and the amazing part of video games. Thank you for watching. What are your favorite games? That was my question. <laughs> uh, violent or non violent? Uh, CSGO, Minecraft in a while. Uh, probably don't know this one. It's a survival game, Ark Survival Evolved. Um, just, I think survival games and uh, adventure games, yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you.